Asking for help. So basically, uh, hi YouTube again. <laughs> we already did all of this testing, but it was on the previous patch of this same version. Oh wait, we got it. Did I update? Let me make sure. Yeah, okay. So we are updated. Patch 0 0.25 uh, was actually very good for the thermo. The thermo was properly buffed. We found that it was much easier to find the room with the heating changes uh, because the heater was super fast. Like, if you turn on the breaker, the normal rooms would turn into... Uh, so non-ghost rooms would have their temperature like above 10 degrees in like 30 seconds. Uh, this patch that just came out literally 30 minutes ago changes this again and makes this slower. So basically, the like one hour of testing we did this during the same stream is already outdated during the same stream. So we're going to do another session. So welcome. I don't think you'll ever see the other video, sadly. Maybe to, to get the full history out. But anyway, let's hop into a Tanglewood to test the new way it works. Uh, and see if it is a proper nerf or not. Uh, let's, uh, let's, let's do it. <laughs> so many updates, man. I'm gonna go nuts. <laughs> Alright, let's change the, change the title. Let's head in here. So, you're gonna have to pay attention now to where the breaker is, which is something that I personally need to get used to, and you need to get used to as well. This one is in the basement. Um, let's go there. Susan, Wilson. They also removed the thermo uh, objective, by the way, because it was just a, a freebie, basically. Because every single place <laughs> was already low temperatures. Alright, let's get in. I'm curious to see how fast it heats now. Because that was the main thing making it easier before. Um, let's see. As you can see, the house is already very low temperatures. Uh, any room is very low temperatures. That is the new change. It makes the house be cold at the start until you turn on the breaker. As soon as I do this, now the house is going to slowly heat up. And it is to, for us to find out how slowly, slowly is. So let's see. Just gonna walk around a bit. Eight degrees. I, I want to wait until the first time. Alright, nice. We see a reading above 10 degrees. We should have had a timer. Well, you can use the bottom of the YouTube video as a timer. Look at that boner. Schnicky. And yeah, it's definitely slower, because by now the room would already... Okay, here we go. Our first reading above 10. So, if, we, if you get a room that reads above 10, I... From last patch, at least, it couldn't be the ghost room. So let's... Okay, this room also has 11. Wait, it's cooler here. Is it going to read above 10? Yeah, there you go. Oh, well, I mean... Let's see. Is it this room? It does not seem to be this room. It's cold here. It's very cold compared to the rest. Okay, there we go. So yeah, you definitely have to check slower. I heard a footstep right here. Is it then this place? But yeah, you can see me check. If I purely focus on the thermo, I think this is the room because it's... I guess it's pretty... Oh, no. So yeah, it does seem to be a nerf for sure. It's the, it's the living room, all right. Fingerprints, nice. Is it though? Is it foyer? Okay, could be. What? Why does the temperature keep going down to three and then up to 15? What the fuck is happening? I'm so confuzzled. Look at that. Okay, this is this is a like definitely different compared to how unless it's basement, in which case I just haven't checked the room yet. But it stepped over there and it turned on a light. Yeah, this is definitely not it. I mean, look at this. It's four degrees here. Like very cold, right? Is it hallway? Oh, okay. It might just be 
This is also kind of a hard ghost, but yeah, the fact that it... Is this is the ghost room? Okay, do we have it now? Like the range of, of things it shows you in the ghost room is crazy. It seems to be here. I think we found it. Is it pure living room? Okay, it is living room. But man, that, that I mean, that took a longer time. Way longer than the early stream testing. Like the early stream testing, it, it was way more, uh, like way more obvious. I mean, you can see it here. It's cold. It's way hotter there than it is over here. So yeah, this is the ghost room. We found it with the thermal. Took us way longer than before. I think I'm just gonna hop in and out some games and just keep testing that. Oh, let's turn on, let's turn off the breaker and let's see what happens then. Cause I don't think I tested that last time. I forgot that. Let's see. Let's turn it off the breaker and let's see how fast the ter temperatures uh, die down now. So this is the place. Yeah, so it's, th it's four, around four, it's not a freezing ghost. Uh, here it's warmer a lot, so it's 18 degrees. I mean, it took a while. I think it's just, I think the increase is the same as the decrease. So you're just gonna have to make sure the breaker stays on for longer than it is off. Because, I mean, obviously it's going not as fast down as well, because yeah, you can still clearly detect this room is the ghost room. Whereas this room will be like 17 still or something. Wait. Oh, it's already pretty cool. Interesting. All right, I'm gonna quickly check for uh, EMF. And I think that we're gonna guess and then we're gonna get out of here. So you see it drop and rate and rise in the exact same speed basically. I don't let's bring this. While we're at it. Yeah, each room has variance in temperatures as well. Let's check that. So each room rises in a different way as well, is what they said. But that is gonna- that, I think that is a big thing. If each room has a different, like, speed at rising- Because that was how we figured it out instantly every time last time. Because the ghost room is, like, such an anomalous room. Like, it acts completely different from any other room. Like, now you already see we're in the range where it's gonna be, like, hard to detect. How old are you? Okay. Nice. Spirit, Wraith, or Poltergeist? Uh... Spirit? I don't feel like that is a... Poltergeist doesn't really be throwing a lot, right? And, and getting fingies. I mean, I guess we can get the orbs. Why do I care about doing the ghost during the testing? I just... <laughs> I want to do it. It wasn't the EMF. That was a ghost event. EMF is uh, not... So that is a good tip. Thank you guys for pointing that out. Because that's not right. Uh, you don't get EMF when you have a ghost event. Uh, it's the, it's, that is when people come to my video and start flaming me because they don't understand how it works. <laughs> like... During a ghost event, all the EMF rules go out the window. So, be sh make sure to not accidentally think that. However, this seems to be... No, that's a three. Never mind. Alright, let's see. Do we have orbs? Because it is this room, right? If it's not orbs, then I'm gonna go for writing. Alright, I think we had a good test here. Let's go hop into a, no a new one. This is probably a spirit. I'm gonna go for a spirit. If it's not a spirit... I got bamboozled. <laughs> It was a spirit. Hurry. Right. I've got some jobs ready for you. 
Let's go back into Tanglewood. I think we're gonna test it because all right It, it is a 100% big nerf to the bigger maps like the bigger maps are 100% like you're gonna have to make sure the breaker is on which on a large map where you have to travel a lot is Going to make it harder. So I don't think there's even I mean, we're gonna do one I think but it is just completely obvious it is it is a nerf for the bigger maps like there's just there's just no other other way to it and i'm just mostly interested in seeing how hard it even makes like the smaller maps because if it makes the smaller maps really hard i mean obviously you can use your ears i'm just trying to, we're just trying to compare the old meta of like thermo to what is going to be the new meta here how are you going to find the ghost now i mean obviously i don't rely on the thermo i rely mostly on my ears but for the like thermo zombies which just walked around with a the thermo all day uh it's gonna make a big difference i think now but this new looks like this is going to be a tough one we've had reports of violence and it looks like they left in a hurry hey shocker how are you doing all right let's see we're gonna i didn't check where the breaker is but there's only two spots. How hard can it be? Jimsy, thank you for the six months in advance. Oh, holy shit. Okay, we're turning it on. And now let's see. So, uh, I guess I should have started a timer. Let's start a timer. All right, let's look for the room. I, it's sli timer slightly off, but let's see how long it takes for the room to look clearly different. So this one is above 10 degrees. Is it? Yep. I think I'm gonna just keep that in mind because that was how it worked last time where 10 degrees was the, uh, was it couldn't be the ghost room if it was 10 degrees. So let's keep that for now. Is this the ghost room? Oh, it's not showing. I think it might be. I think I just heard an object. Oh, no, oh, it's 10. Alright, it seems very high, too. Well, here's the form. I think at this point... Okay. Wait. I think at this point you could just return... Oh, okay. Now, that is still... Oh, okay. It's freezing. See how fast we found that? I mean, it's still a minute, but the freezing definitely shows up faster than old patch. Even on this, I think. So it's not fingerprints. So yeah, interesting. So it does show up uh, quite fast if you have a freezing ghost. I because basically the freezing ghost turns it into what it used to be. Like what it used to be, which why it was so brainless, because I called it brainless because before you could just say anything below three, 13 degrees is the ghost room. Now you actually have to like think and compare the temperatures in different rooms, um, which I think is an overall improvement. Uh, it's a phantom. Let's get out of here. We're going to do that one more time. Oh, I dropped a couple frames, sorry, guys. Welcome back. This job's ready for it you. wasn't the EMF? Oh, interesting. I got jibated. <laughs> jibated! I don't often get jibated. <laughs> I also don't often try to finish the game in one minute, but... <laughs> Alright, let's get back. I got jibated. One more time. All right, so that was a freezing ghost, which... So freezing ghosts seem to be still as easy as they were before. Because you can get the... You can use the same mindset you used before. With the 13 degrees, you can now go, if I see anything below 3 degrees, it must be the ghost room. And it must be a freezing ghost. So now 50% of the ghosts are still the same. But the other 50% is now much harder, which is interesting. It's kind of a Revenant, Jin, Spirit, Oni, Shade, Poltergeist buff. <laughs> which is 
curious, because those ghosts were... I feel like the non-freezing ghosts were always kind of better. Maria White, like Revenant and... Revenant is just the best ghost. Alright, let's go. Did I take the key? I did. Wait. Yeah. Breaker is in the basement. So, let's do this one more time. And uh, let's see how easy it's going to be or not. So I feel like, because the freezing, right, the freezing shows up faster, if you uh, use other tools to find a room, it is an overall buff to non-thermo users, I think. Because temperatures don't do anything, but freezing shows up much quicker. So if you used to find the room using other things than a thermo, your playstyle is now buffed. Because, oh wow. Yeah, see? Boom. Freezing. That is faster than it used to be. Right? Can we just can we just agree that freezing ghosts are still easy are still easier now? <laughs> like look how fast that was. I already it's the living room again. Did you update the game? Absolutely I did. Yeah, it is interesting. I'm a, I'm a little bit behind. I think you I think you might want to refresh the stream. <sighs> How old are you? Okay. Jesus. So yeah, if it is a freezing ghost, look how fast that was. But if it's not, then you're in for a pick. Because, yeah, as soon as I stepped out of that room, I found it. Even before I heard anything. I check for Orbeez. I might as well try it. Is it a mare? No orbs. Well, writing is going to take forever here. So I'm just going to do an educated guess, I think. Because we are mostly focused on the thermal. Worm room play round place. Thank you for the thousand videos. Welcome. Um, demon or wraith, guys? What do you say? Oh, I might as well throw a book down. Demon? Demon seems to be fairly up. You guys seem to think demon. I'm going to throw in demon and we're going to do one more test. Because I want to have one more... Oh, look at this. Did they fix this? I need to know. Okay, you can still place your hand. That is nice. Nice. Uh, let's try this. Yep, you can't. You can't take pills anymore. They just fixed... You, you just can't take pills anymore when, you're <laughs> when, you, when the thing moves. Alright, so they did properly fix that. But you can still do this. Look at this. Hey, it's, it's fake demons. Rip hand. <laughs> it was a wraith! You guys are wrong! Oh, I'm just kidding. I've got some jobs ready for you. 1969, by the way. Nice. Okay, we're gonna go to Tanglewood once more. I think Tanglewood is just... We're gonna keep our, our okay, parameters, our test parameters uh, limited by just doing a Tanglewood. To not make it to too many maps in one video. That's what I did last time. I did, like, uh, Prison as well. And all the small maps. But I think just sticking to one map for now is just gonna show it, at least on Tanglewood. Like, you might have some questions on... How it works on the bigger maps, but Ruth Wilson. Like this is the lowest denominator, right? If it is hard on Tanglewood, it is hard everywhere. So I feel like this is a good way to test. Well, let's see one more time. Are we are we gonna get another freezing ghost? 
Like, you gotta realize that 50% of the ghosts are freezing. So if freezing ghosts are easy, 50% of the ghost is easier. Or 50% of the game is easier. So that is quite a significant thing. That is not nothing. I'm just walking around now as if I don't care to rule out each room. Which you would do that on a bigger map, you would be interested in finding. Oh, really? Well, you heard as soon as I came here, it threw something in my face. So that's kind of nice. So it's 10 degrees right here. Okay, it's 11 right there. Now it starts showing. It starts being possible to see it, I think. Yeah, okay. I mean, obviously it's freezing. I mean, you could tell before. You could also tell freezing, kind of. But not this fast. We don't have fingerprints. Like... Before freezing was something that you have to be, you had to like, be, you had to develop that intuition of how quickly, because freezing ghosts would drop the temperature faster than normal ghosts. Interesting spike. Um, whereas, um, so you you could tell before like pretty fast if a ghost was freezing or not. But now you can tell it 100% certain, even faster. So yeah, uh, interesting. What are we gonna guess, Poltergeist? No, it's a freezing ghost. It can't be. Uh, let's just take this in there and this might as well do a one test. Demon again. It can't be a Polter because it's, uh, it's freezing. How old are you? Okay. We are freezing in that, so we have Wraith, Mare, Demon, not Wraith. What do you guys want? Wraith or, or Mare or Demon? Mare or Demon? Mare? Alright. Shall we do... I'm just curious to think. Let me know what you think about this. So this is... Definitely harder than it was before. Before it was stronger. Like the when I tested this at the start hey we got it correct. When I tested this at the start of the stream on the patch before the, the heater changes, it was easier to find a room now than it was before the thermo even got its first nerf. So overall it is a, it is harder now. Let's do one more tango wood. Just to make sure, make it out. But welcome back. I've got some jobs ready. I'm just trying to figure out how. It, this is this is like in welcome the back. in a gray There's zone of hardness. I'm also curious because you guys are this is this video can't be long enough to have a welcome proper back. like, like complete of idea of everything and how it works exactly. Like I have to do some testing, but I can't just make like a 10 hour video of every map played 10 times like. So let me think. Let, let let me know what you guys think in the comments because I think that's going to help others as well. Uh, how how has your experience been with this new patch? It's uh it's been out for I think one day at this time this video comes out, so you won't have had much chance. But let me know. Mary Jackson. Ten hour video will be fun. There's actually a video like that coming up. Uh, I need to. Upload my birthday stream, the 12 hour stream. Okay. We're doing mighty fine today. So, yeah, let's see. So, right now, you basically have to, at the start, so the playstyle would be listen right now. So, right now, you should mostly use your ears because the thermo is kind of useless at this point. Unless it's a freezing ghost, in which case you can find it. You can also use the Luigi board to find it. Or just listen for doors and items and footsteps. Wait. 
which I think it is a good, good. It takes like at least a minute to two minutes now before the ghost room turns or before any other room turns into a plus 10 degrees room. Which is when you can tell that it's not the ghost room. It's fairly cold. It's fairly cold here. Mary? Okay, no. Really cold here as well. Nope, never mind. Living room? Basement? Okay. So, this room that's giving me an 8 reading is the ghost room because we're hurt to the ghost here, right? Unless it's not. Wait, is it this? Is it a Romy ghost? Yeah, it, this is like. This is where it should. That is solid. Hello? There's no way you're a revenant, right? Hello? Ghost? Are you here? I want to see you. Hello? Can't. Ghost? Are you gonna check here? Are you basement? Are you basement banshee? A BB? Basement banshee? This might be a basement banshee. Are you just not gonna kill me? It's not even gonna try. I'm talking to you! I wonder what my sanity is. But I'm also gonna check the basement real fast. No, it's yeah, I mean this is where it shows now. I legitimately got a hunt before I could even use purely the thermo to find the room that is solid like overall I think it's It's a it's a nerf for sure There's no two cents about it anymore except the 50% of the time where it's a freezing ghost in that case It's not a nerf, but something that is only consistent 50% of the time is an interesting tool right like, a spirit box, you can also use to find the ghost room. But only if it's a spirit box ghost, which it's definitely not always, right? Something like that. Uh, my sanity is... Yeah, it's a banshee. So, wait. It's, it's... It's freezing, then. What? Oh, that's interesting. So, there must be a freezing room here somewhere that I missed. I thought I was way lower sanity. How did I drop so slow? I guess, because there is also a, a, a nerf to freezing that they implemented, but maybe I just glossed over the room? It was over here, right? Where we heard the door that one time. Although it's a banshee, so it can just chase me. It doesn't have to be in, a, in the room. But this was the room that was... What the hell? This? Okay, that was really weird. I was so confused there. Okay, I guess, I guess, I swear I checked this one. But I guess I, I had still the reading of this room when I was checking that one. I swear. Well, all right, but that shows you, if you missed that one room, it's just a, it's just that lack of certainty. It's that lack of like, I know this is not the room. Like right now, it keeps that, Really, it keeps that mystery for longer. Right now, the thermo the, or the the house has been like warmed up properly, so now I can tell every time I, I get one reading, I can instantly tell that's not the ghost room. And this one is just so anomalous that it instantly shows you the room. But the fact that that takes a while me meant I could get a full hunt to happen. I mean, it was a banshee hunt, so not a real full hunt, but still. Pretty cool. Okay. Yeah. 
that was spooky. <laughs> Alrighty, I think... Are, do you guys have any more questions? The Paramike is not... I don't think... The Paramike is just inconsistent. That's the problem with Paramikes. It is like a cone. It's not a cone of detection. It is like a circle around you. So it makes it very hard to pinpoint the location. And because it's based on sound, anything you can hear, the Paramike will pick up. But it will show you no direction. So you can better just use your ears to find to hear the sounds and then use your own locational awareness to find it. Uh, interesting. Is there any questions you guys have? Or are we going to call it here um, and mark this as scienced? I know the bigger maps are going to be a pain in the ass. I know Asylum is, is a nightmare if you have a ghost that turns off the breaker a lot. But that's not really the point of this video. The point of this video is to just show you how significant the nerfs are. Which I think they are quite. At this point, they're quite. Uh, quite a change. Um, and overall, in my opinion, it is good. Because of the thermo zombies. I don't like the thermo zombies that just walk around the house. And look for the room that's 13 degrees or colder. Or lower than 13 degrees and just go from there like it just it just removes that first part of the game where you have um, Or you like got to listen for the house It's like a spooky house where you got to make yourself acquainted with it and find out what's going on Where's the, where the sounds coming from? Uh, do I see any doors ajar? Do I hear anything? Um if I see a light on, stuff like that. I think that part of the game gets really underutilized if you are just a thermo junkie that only uses the thermo. Uh, I think where the thermo is really strong is in combination. Honestly, it might make me play a lot better because I still use the thermo. If you can purely go off of your intuition and sound and save that inventory slot you usually use for the thermo for an evidence item, I could go like this, bang, bang. And now, every time, I can already rule out one evidence. That is really good, because if you drop your flashlight, now, let's say I had the spirit box in there, right? I can take a video cam, UV light, maybe not even the UV light, because I could have taken a photo of the door and ruled out fingerprints, yes or no. I can take UV book, Maybe EMF if you don't see it on the board. You can take all the tools in one trip back, basically, because EMF you can use the board for. UV you can sometimes use the, uh, the photo cam for. Rather than having to take two trips, because if you don't take the spirit box on the first trip, the second trip you will have video cam, UV light, and book. And then you still need to take the spirit box, right? So, interesting. I think if you can go without the thermo, you are a better player. But you still gotta find the room fast. Maybe EMF. Honestly, now EMF might become a lot better because you can go off of the sound and then you can use the EMF to pinpoint exactly like where the sound was. And then you have the ghost room that way. Although it might debate you. Like that ghost was acting in the kitchen even though it wasn't a kitchen ghost. I just think it's good. Let me know what you think. I'm gonna hop out of this one. It is a banshee. You can also see EMF on the chart here, by the way. Um, I think it's good. Cool. Wanna see my thumb? Beautiful thumb. Is there another new update? You got- you- there's- you're joking. Are you serious? Or are you just- <laughs> I think it's I think you're talking about the update we were just testing. Alrighty. Um so overall I think they're going in the right direction. I like I mean it's definitely gonna be a little bit of uh like getting used to the fact that you can no longer use the thermo to find the room fast, but I think uh thermo was removed. <laughs> uh let me just do the outro and then we'll check that out. Um I think overall it is a good idea to make there be more tools used to find the room. Now you can use an EMF. You can even use the Paramike if you're crazy and you want to use that. I personally have never found a use in the Paramike. Anything the Paramike can do, my ears can do better. Uh, so I don't see it. But I uh, definitely think it's moving in the right direction. When the game fully releases, people won't have this like... Uh, 
like rehab that they need to have for the thermo right because they're already like it, it's just going to be how it is at that point if the, if the thermo gets nerfed completely now that won't matter in a in like half a year so i think it is going to be fine uh i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you learned something let me know talk about this in the comments what are your experiences with it do you like it do you hate it is it a, is it a proper change does it make big maps too too bad um i'm curious so yeah subscribe if you haven't uh like the video or dislike the video depending on what you've thought uh and if you want to join the lovely gamers over here in chat you can join it over at twitch.tv slash insim every single day at 7 p.m central european time that is where we are uh i hope you enjoy it and i'll see you in the next video i love you guys hopefully it's not outdated be sure to check the description for which patch number this is referring to it is zero point uh 25.1 and there's apparently already a new patch, so be sure to may it like is the patch number correct? <laughs> Alrighty. Anyway, I love you guys. Bye bye. Ugh. No, there's not a new patch. You guys are trolling. Unless it's not updating for me. Alrighty. Good.